everybody um, so I didn't do my post yesterday uh, so I'm on day 9 of the 21 day cleanse um, and so I think what I'm gonna do for this video is it'll be a combination of my yesterday and my today um, I was trying to always do my videos at night after I have kind of finished eating everything but to be honest I pretty much always know what I'm gonna be eating all day usually the day before <laughs> at, the, at the very least so I'm just going to um, go through my meal for the last two days. So um, yesterday I had, um, sorry about the noise, I, I'm right on a lake and so a lot of seaplanes take off around this time of the day. Anyway, um, so uh, my day eight, I started off with my normal smoothie. Like I said, I do mango and pineapple now with coconut milk. And um, I do collagen powder, MCT oil, and two scoops of that disgusting chalky protein powder. Um, Nisi. And then for lunch, did I end up working home from home yesterday? I did. I worked from home yesterday. Um, and so sometimes that can be a little weird uh, food wise because I'm a little, get a little backed up. So after I ate, I went and worked out, um, and then I came home and I made a bunch of different stuff when I came home. But for lunch, I had my roasted veggies, um, some quinoa, lentils. I had made, um, I had actually made these two Korean dishes that I am quite a fan of. Um, they're my favorite. So usually when you eat Korean food, you end up getting like a bunch of like small sometimes vegetarian sides. And so yesterday, uh, so two of my favorite ones that I like getting at um, restaurants is chicken um, chinamul, which is basically spinach tossed with uh, like some sesame oil, soy sauce, ginger, um, not ginger, uh, I used a little bit of leek and green onion and garlic and that's super delicious. And the other thing that I made is a little bit spicy. I wouldn't necessarily call it a kimchi, um, but it's like it's called um, oi mugu, uh, oi oi yeah, oi muchi, which is um, basically they're Kirby cucumbers, uh, which are classified as Korean cucumbers, um, that are tossed with some gochujang, pepper. Um, onion leek, um, sesame oil, and sesame seeds, and you kind of treat it like you would, um, like if you're making gokdugi or like any other kimchi, where you like, you cut it, then you salt it, and then you let it sit for like 20 minutes or so, and then you squeeze all the moisture out of it, um, and then toss it with the different spices. So I made those two yesterday and they were super good. Even my husband really liked it. Um, not that he wouldn't like it, but I was afraid that the, um, uh, the cucumber um, spiciness would be hard for him because I didn't make it super spicy just in case he wanted to try it. It definitely could have been kicked up a little bit of a, a little notch um, for me. But like I said, I, you know, thought he might want to eat it. So I made those and I kind of made that and I served it a little bit as on the side with the rest of my lunch. Um, I didn't have a snack. I think, what should I eat? Ah, so I did eat, um, like I've just really been craving sugar and sweets. It's been really kind of awful actually. And I'm struggling a little bit because I'm trying to figure out when I'm no longer doing this program, I mean, I still want to eat healthy like I am right now, but it's like, how do you balance that with wanting to eat foods that you really enjoy? Like I like fried foods and I like sweet things. So how do I like balance that? So I'm not just constantly eating it and then gaining a ton of weight and feeling crappy later on. Like I already know I'm going to feel crappy, right? But it's like, I don't care enough about feeling crappy to not eat it. Um, so I need to kind of figure that out. Um, I, so I had like uh, half a cup of cherries. Uh, cherries are my favorite. It's that time of the year here um, in Seattle. So for sure, like the cherries are awesome here. The reindeer cherries are my favorite. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, and then for dinner, I made 
this really awesome uh, Thai curry, and I've never made it this way before, but I made it in my Instant Pot. Um, so I actually might post the recipe for that, and if I do, I won't post it on this link. If I do it today, I'll post it tomorrow. Um, but that was super delicious with chicken, and I topped that over um, some kali rice, cauliflower rice. So today for day nine, I I tried to, I decided to try something different, kind of mix it up because I've literally for eight days been consuming some disgusting version of a smoothie. So I decided to kind of mix it up and I thought, oh, why don't I add something else disgusting to it, like chia pudding. I know people really like chia pudding. I don't like chia pudding. I think it's gross. For me, food is really about texture. So there's lots of foods, not lots, but there's some foods that I don't enjoy consuming because of the texture itself. Not because it's a disgusting item, but like, for example, I can't eat raw tomatoes. I think it's gross. Um, and again, it's a texture, textural thing. It's very fleshy and pulpy almost, depending on the kind of tomato that you're using. But like usually the kind of tomatoes that people put in like a sandwich or something, I can't eat those. Um, so chia seeds are like that to me, not in its raw form or mixed or blended, but when you make it into a pudding, that's when it gets like that really disgusting texture and people are like, oh, it tastes like tapioca. No, it doesn't. And it makes me think that you've never had tapioca if you say that. Um, because like, it, I'm sure you are aware or maybe you aren't, but when you put the chia seeds in uh, a moisture, like water or milk or something, it'll expand and blossom and it'll create like this gel consistency on the outside of the seed, which is gross because now you have that gel-like consistency and then you have that chewy bite when you bite into the seed itself, which inevitably will get caught in your teeth somewhere. Um, but I was trying to mix it up and chia seeds are healthy for you apparently, that's what they say anyway. So I made, um, the night before when I was in my great <laughs> huge like uh, cooking spree, if you will, in the afternoon when I was making all that other stuff, I tossed in a quarter cup of chia seeds with some cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla paste, and a cup of coconut milk, and I stuck that in my fridge. And so this morning when I woke up, I made myself a smoothie like I normally would, and then I put half of that smoothie in. Oh, I don't have the cup with me. Um, I have a I have a lot of these. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like at a loss for, I don't know why, I can't remember the name of the kind of cup, the cup it is, but whatever. I put it in a cup, and then I put half of it in the cup, and then I put maybe a quarter cup of the chia pudding on top of that, and then I topped the other half with um, the mango pineapple smoothie. And it, I mean, I guess the problem is, is that like, I basically made something that was kind of, Possible to consume the mango smoothie and then I topped it with something I don't really like hoping that it would taste better and like an idiot obviously it didn't um, it wasn't bad uh, and if nothing else it was definitely a lot more filling but it wasn't great either so not something that I'm like oh that is so disgusting <laughs> right but um, yeah, like I said, it's not that I wouldn't eat it again. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Like I said, I, well, I do know why I did that. Texturally, it was interesting, I guess. Um, Flavor-wise, it didn't really add very much. Would I make it again? Nah, only because now I have like a cup of chia pudding in my fridge and I don't want to just throw it out. So I'll most likely make it again. Anyhow, that's what I had today for breakfast for my day nine. Sorry, that was a very long explanation to the start of my day. Um, and then for lunch today, I'm basically having my leftovers from yesterday. So cauliflower rice with uh, chicken curry um, and uh, a little bit of side of uh, the cucumber um, mix that I made. And... Uh, oh, and then for 
a snack. I'm going to be doing my half and half. Well, it's not really half, but it's like, I don't know, maybe half a cup. Oh, not half, like a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds and maybe like a quarter of a cup of um, shredded coconut. And that'll be my snack after I work out. And then for dinner tonight, I am making um, Ethiopian food. So I'm really excited for that. I'm going to be making like a, I don't know the names of it, but it's like a lentil with berbera sauce, a uh, spice blend. And so that should be really interesting. If it's good, I'm literally kind of making things up as I go along, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, if it's good, then I will post a recipe for it tomorrow. If it's disgusting, I will post a recipe for it tomorrow <laughs> so that you can figure out why it was disgusting and maybe make it better and then tell me what I did wrong. Um, and I'm also making uh, a cabbage mixture. So it's like cabbage and sweet potato and onion and pepper um, with toss with like some turmeric, ginger, garlic. So we'll see if that's good too. Um, today I guess I'm going a little bit vegetarian with my dinner but whatever. Um, so that'll be with cauliflower rice and some roasted vegetables. Uh, other than that, that is it for me. Um, I am working out today so I might start posting my workouts again online. Um, Maybe not today, but starting tomorrow. I haven't been overly motivated to do so. Um, and that's it for me, you guys. So this is my day eight and my day nine. Oh, in regards to how I'm feeling, I still feel pretty good. I still feel pretty energetic. Um, my stomach still feels really awesome. Like, I don't feel bloated. Uh, I'm really excited because you're not, you really shouldn't weigh yourself every day, but I kind of felt bad yesterday because I had so much sweet potato that I was like, oh, like, oh my gosh, did I like ruin it? Because my sweet potato is good, but you shouldn't eat like five sweet potatoes, right? <laughs> like just like anything, you shouldn't eat five cupcakes. Um, so yeah, uh, but I ended up losing a pound. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I know it's only day nine, um, but we'll see how I am for day 14. And hopefully I'll keep losing weight or at least not gain any weight. And that would be fantastic for me. Bye, everybody.